In the vales of the Anduin, the children and grandchildren of Bayorn live a rustic and peaceful life. Soon they too will need to face the shadow that threatens all of Middle Earth. Welcome everyone, this is Pine Leaf Needles, and this is also the first episode of Pine Leaf Plays the Bjorning. I did have a pre episode where I created my character, and now we are actually in the introductory area and we'll get to play our new character. And let's see what we have. First thing I usually like to do is to set up my UI so I have it the way I want it. Because if you... I know you can probably get through the intro without your UI the way you want it, but it makes it a lot easier. So I like to put my 5 and 6 bars way down to the lower left. And move around my quick slots. My housing traveler will go there. My change skill I will put here. My bear skills I will put on the third line. And my main skills I will put on the lower line. My man form skills. That's what I'm going to do so far. We'll see if that changes as we go along in progressing. And of course I'm going to have all this stuff, but I'm not going to really f mess with all of this mess until the interval between it. So therefore, after this episode, but before the second episode, I'm going to clean up my bags so that it'll look a lot better. You don't need to see me merging all my bags together. The blood of the skin changer flows within us. How many afternoons have we spent this way, Pine Claw? Once the work is done and our chores finished, it seems every day sees us staring out at the pond of Grimbjorn, our elder, thinking airy thoughts. <sighs> you are my brother, Pine Claw, and we keep no secrets from each other. Is this all we have a right to expect? The blood of the skin changer flows within us and must move us to greater deeds than this. So you can see the the earnings are getting restless. Oh. You know we are. We're proud heritage once claimed by very few and I ran ahead a moment. Few can do what we can, Pine Claw. Why does Grimbjorn insist that we stay near our home? Wait a moment. Who is this? Let us see. Alright, let's see. Is that Radagast? Radagast the wizard? It is. So it's interesting. He's the one that we get here. Oh, uh, pardon my interruption, Radagast. Oh, it's no bother. Sometimes cubs do not know when to keep their silence. We will speak inside. Oh well. Why do you think a wizard will come here, Pine Claw? Yes. So therefore, in the Erluin area, you meet Elrond at the start. If you're playing an elf, you meet Gandalf if you're playing a dwarf, you meet Aragorn if you're playing on man, and you meet Frodo and the company if you're playing a hobbit. In other words, basic ones of their type. So since Bjorn is certainly not going to come out of the past in or do here, you meet, meet Bjorn's son, of course, since he's your father. And you meet Radagast, who's the character from The Hobbit that would be appropriate for these people. All right. Something serious must have happened to draw uh, Radagast here. Okay, okay, yes. Radagast is not from the book of The Hobbit. He appears a lot in the movie. He's mentioned in The Hobbit a bit. And he has a cameo row in Lord of the Rings, and that's only in a... flashback, so to speak, given by Gandalf on there. So Radagast really doesn't 
appear as a character in the main narrative in any of the books. But but he's mentioned enough and his presence is enough. He's been a part of this game because he's part of book two that he's a natural character to bring here. I have only seen Radagast once or twice, and that was when we were very young. Do you remember? We were very small then, and he was kind to us, but I do not think he enjoyed leaving his home in Mirkwood. Something serious must have happened to draw him here, my brother. I will sniff around the lodge and see if I can overhear any of his conversations with our sire, and you should talk to Fardmath at the animal pens. Our cousin talks little, but he hears much, and he might know something. Alright, so let's see. Find Vardmath at the animal pens and see if he knows anything. Alright. And let's see what we have here. Well, here are the animal pens. Hello, Vardmath. What brings you hither, cousin? What brings you hither? I know what brings him here. His own business. If it becomes our concern, Grimbjorn will let us know. Until that time, you should mind your own matters. Even better, you should make yourself useful to me. One of our milk cows has wandered from the pen. Find her now before she gets outside the surrounding wall and tell her to return. Alright, so we need to tell a cow to return. And I think this cow is somewhere around here. Now I'm not going to read every single quest in the game, but I am going to read any quest that is unique to the Bjornings or a quest that I think needs particularly reading of the entire thing. But if it's a well-known quest, I'm not going to read every single quest text in there. Especially after I've read most of the quest text in my Runekeeper series. You approach the milk cow and she loathes nervously. Loathes? Something has caused her distress. What could it be? When you were young, you developed the ability to understand many of the animal languages, a gift of your ancestor Bjorn. You call upon this natural facility now and speak gentle reassurances to the milk cow. Before long, she, her calm nature returns and she begins to move slowly back to her pen. Alright. So, what do we have here? Oh, Pineclaw, what are you doing? So here is awful moth. I fear you have grown soft. How's it come to this, Pine Claw? Do you serve those lazier than you, fetching lost cows and running errands? Ha ha ha! You are a Bjorn's line, as am I. But I have not forgotten what that means. To you, it means little. We should live our lives with ferocity, seizing each moment with tooth and claw. No one is my master. I fear you have grown soft. Only by harnessing your wrath in battle can you truly live up to your heritage, prepare yourself for battle, and test your skills against mine. So now we finally get to the battle test that you have with each character at the start of the game. Speak with me when you are ready, and test our skills in battle. There are few like us. That is why I test you as I do. Let your wrath fuel your abilities. And he turns into a bear faster than I do. Unfair. Okay. Your skills improve, Pine Claw, but they are not yet at their peak. Do as I do, and practice your abilities on the sickle flies in the clover. Alright. Sickle flies. Apparently they're a bit of a nuisance. Now, concerning the thing about Bjornings and having a good empathy with nature and all that stuff, with animals and s What I've decided to do for this playthrough is see how much...
this goes up by tiers each time I strike. So it becomes more and more powerful. So the first claw isn't all that powerful. The second one is a little bit more. So it is good to have multiple times in using the claw in there. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to avoid gratuitous killing of animals. In other words, just killing just to kill every animal in the area, I'm not going to do. And bears, well, they're even more protected in that I'm going to avoid taking quests that involve killing bears. Now, when I say killing bears, I mean healthy bears. So, for example, if a bear is mad, if a bear is demonic, such as the Lath Bears in Rohan, they're not going to be protected. And instead, I'll just... Okay, they're up for killing because they need to be put down, so to speak. But when we talk about normal bears, the ones that are healthy, the ones that are part of the environment, I'm not going to be taking quests like kill these bears for food or something like that. Now, there might be some quests that block in the epic. And I may have to do those if there's a major blockage in it. But if it's definitely a side quest, one that doesn't have to be taken, or maybe as a minor chain or something like that, then I'm definitely not going to take the quest in that case. Most afternoons you spend daydreaming in the sun. I did not think today. to see you again today, my brother. Most afternoons you spend daydreaming in the sun with Sterkest. What's different about today? Alright, after telling her about... I tell her about Radagus the wizard and was paid a visit by Grimbjorn and of Alphamloth and the fighting with the sickle flies for practice. And <laughs> she smirks and says, Fight! Roar! Battle! Growl! The line of the orn is the finest of all! <laughs> oh, well, that's her impression of Amalaf, apparently. She's apparently amused by it, rather than taking it seriously. I think Amalaf should stay about the brood less about a minority heritage and help more. Will you accompany me? I am nearly ready to return. It has been years since Radagast came to our homeland. He would not leave his home in Mirkwood unless he had serious calls to do so. Now you can see with... Ah, the Karak. Now that's a stone that appears in The Hobbit. I know that you and Sturkis often climb to the carved steps and stand atop its summit. Do you think that we will go beyond the Karak and cross the river one day? I think one day you will. So in this one, we do have a family, which is unusual with characters, since usually they leave your background open. But since there are so few Bjornings, they decided to weave the family into part of the storyline. Something feels right. Goblins, of course. So there's also a few more opponents in this one because in most of the starter areas in most starter areas you play you have one character that you go you know, five you face five. Oh, I'm rooted. No wonder I was wondering what happened there. So usually you face five in the others sometimes for example, in the men hurry back to the lodge and tell her we're under attack. All right. Normally, for example, the man where you face four opponents, then you go against a fifth who's, well, I'm not going to call a boss because he really does have boss attributes, but is named as opposed to the others. So five. Well, maybe not exactly a pattern on that because the spiders are different where you just kill three random spiders. 
two spiders, then three more for the second one that comes out of the web. So, so it's five in all. And in this case, we face, well, we had to kill eight of the sickle flies. And here we have the goblins. We face a few there. We run to a couple on the way. And you have the option to go and kill some of these goblins if you wish. So even there are even extra mobs, which there aren't any extra mobs in any other intros that I can recall. Or I guess technically they call them the tutorials. So this is actually a combination of a tutorial plus an intro, which is why you have these extra mobs probably. Since you see we leveled up to two and in the others you don't level any. Alright, now back to the launch here. All the mobs is surrounded by bodies of goblins. Alright, let's go tell Grimbjorn. And this instance, well, I'm talking all the way through, so it's taking me about 20 minutes. What happened? I heard fighting. That is very peculiar. You quickly tell Sturkist of what the goblins had attacked. That is very peculiar. Bjorn had put the fear of our kind in the goblins when he stalked these veils, and we have done our part to maintain their terror of us, have we not? What could make them think to stray once again on this side of the river? Our sister was not hurt, was she? Sometimes goblins can have thick skulls that she might carelessly chip a tooth or a nail. We need to tell Grimbjorn. Tell him what? Goblins! Goblins dare to attack us! It is as I told you, Grimbjorn. A dark power is rising once more, sending forth its evil. Animals, plants, all living things are threatened. My family is strong, Radagast. We do not fear goblins. They feared my father Bjorn, and they fear me. They will fear my children in time. I thought I would remain in isolation as well, but this was my folly. I must bring warnings to the folk we can trust, wizards, elves, dwarves, rangers. But I cannot be everywhere, Grimbjorn. I came to you because I need the message delivered quickly. Send all your children. I will go. I can run faster than Sturkist. Be silent! I will spare only one of my line. I will send Pineclaw with your message. That's not fair. <laughs> I have made my decision. Yes, to leave our land and bring a message of warning. Yes, young one, I have made my decision. You will leave the sheltered land and bring a message of warning to where the wizard believes it must go. I long thought our folk could remain separate from the other peoples as my father wished, but these are no longer those days. Perhaps I will send others in the days ahead. But for now, you will represent the line of Bjorn in the wilder world. Act with strength and clarity of purpose, Pineclaw, and let all who see you say, There goes a man of Bjorn's line. Cross him at your peril. I do not believe in long farewells, young one. Learn your task from the wizard. Say goodbye to your siblings and bring no disfavor to our line. Right? Good, good, good. I worry that Grimbjorn would not see the urgency of the matter, but reason has won out. I have always had a way with bears. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, well, never mind, never mind. Not important. A dark power is rising, Pine Claw. I cannot put a name to it, if indeed it has a name. But something has unsettled the natural world. I will seek the greater line of the five wizards, for he has a study of many things unknown to me, and many know what is happening. I may 
see I want you to seek out someone else. He is a ranger, and his name is Aragorn. He is enmeshed in the affairs of wizards for some time now, and if the rumblings I sense are real danger, as I fear, I know that Aragorn must take a special care not to fall prey to them. The last I heard, he was traveling through Breeland, beyond the mountains. Find Aragorn. Uh, hello, Sturkist. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, please calm down. Ah, uh, don't mind me, Pyclaw. I'm happy for you. Did I not tell you your time would come? Perhaps I am much a wizard as Radagast himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that is not what I want. I want to explore the lands beyond our home, as you do. I want you to seek adventure. I will follow you sooner rather than later. I assure you, until we meet again, brother, find this ranger, deliver Radagast's message, and do not have your fill of adventure before Sturkist and I can join you. We will meet again. You will need to prepare for the journey, yes? It is a long way to Eriador, and you will need some supplies if you will have success. Speak with Grimbjorn. And actually, these are all the supplies you normally get out of the intro area. I will give you what you need for your journey. It is a long way across the mountains. So therefore, and we get a... Okay, no, we don't get to keep the horse. But I guess we have to drop it off at... At where we end. And that concludes the first episode of Pine Leaf Plays the Bjorning. And next time we will begin our adventures here in Archit.